His name is Logan. Where have you been? That's the electric shock here, I'm sorry. procedure went quite well um before we go on to the next stage of the um experiment i would like some feedback about how it's gone are you seeing better with the webcam eye and also do you have any more empathy now that you've got two hearts I'm glad to hear it. Great. How's everyone today? Good, I hope. Hope you had a good Easter. Bank holiday. Don't know what you got in your country, but we've got bank holiday yesterday and Monday coming. I nearly couldn't find it, so I was going to have to resort to this. But I found it. So all is well. And then I noticed the last time that the anaesthetic seemed to be wearing off. So I'm going to have to strap your hands down just to make sure that you don't start moving around and squirming when I'm trying to work. I can't have those kind of distractions. So, I have been doing a lot of research into the esoterical aspects of life and also kind of opening the third eye and everything. Um, from what I understand, the third eye is around here. Um, so I have this harmless instrument that I'll be using to actually bore into your head till we get to it. And I'm hoping that um, I'll be able to release your third eye. So then obviously you'll have, you've already got more empathy of the heart and you can see better with this eye. And then with this, you will also, um, gain supernatural insight <laughs> hold still oh. 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 okay you seem to be losing just suction that blood off and take out some of that mucus I just wondered, like, if you take out these fireworks and actually implant them into the anus cavity and then light the end, 
um, would the person reach heaven and meet God? I don't know. You, the only way to know this is through experimentation. Let's go a bit further. And then, section again. to be I've like never seen this before in all the experiments I've done I've never seen this before but there seems to be some kind of strange substance coming out of your head um let me just pull it out What is that? Hmm. I think this must be what blocks the consciousness and stops you actually seeing in the fourth dimension. Um, interesting. I'll keep this. I wonder if um, that's where your memories are stored. Do you still remember where you are? Do you remember how you got here today? Oh my gosh, you're getting loose. What's going on? Lay you down now. That's a bit better. Don't you remember how you got here? I think the procedure is working. Just take these on. Set these on. And then connect these up. So, right now, I'm going to be testing out your 4D capabilities. Um, in order to give you a bit of motivation, I have attached this electric shock device to you. Let me connect it. These these bits go onto the electrodes. Put this up to the machine. Okay. So each time you get an answer right, you will um well you don't get anything, but you'll be alright. But every time you get one wrong, I will be pressing a button and you will get an electric shock. Okay. Do you understand? Would you need me to go through anything again before we start? The topic is about me. Okay, we're ready to start. And so, the first question is, what is my favourite colour? Five, four, three, two, one. Wrong. My favourite colour is pink. So you've lost that. 
Hmm. Maybe I haven't drilled further enough down. That should be an easy one, really. Question two, what is the first gas mask that I bought? Four, three, two, one. Oh, you're not doing very well, are you? Um... The human brain can only take about 10 of these zaps before you turn into a vegetable. This is very serious. It does have a name. I think that I might need to do this a bit manually. Let me just remove some flesh. The main thing I'll be using it for is to kind of know future events and routes to take so that I can become Empress of the world. <laughs> Are you ready for question three? You've not, you're not going to survive ten no's so you, you need to dig deep and try it. Okay. Question three, what colour were the first gloves that I've worn in my video? So out of all of my videos where I'm wearing gloves, what colour were the first ones? Oh, you got it right! I do think it was a bit slow though, but I think that um, the second mode is probably working the best, so we'll go with that a bit more. For fuck's sake. The next question is, well, I have a, a doggy assistant. He's not a dog really though. He's a man, um, a black man I used to know. I'm not going to go into the backstory of it. I'm not going to go into the backstory. But um, he was a dog. So I thought if you're going to be a dog, I might as well put your brain into a dog's body. So he has the mind of a dog. Well, a mind of a man, but the body of a dog. I think he's been... I think he's much happier this week. So, my assistant, stroke pet, what is his name? His name is Logan. Where have you been? That's the electric shock here, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, this jumped up. The next question is which out of all of
Thank you.